Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Model Fix. My name's Dan and today we are fixing. Today we're going to have a look at the horn on the Toyota Corolla. The horn has always been very weak. It was like you could almost not hear it. And more recently, guess what's happened? Press the horn. Nothing. So basically I bought some replacement horns and we're going to fit them. All right, so what you need to do is you need to remove this panel. And this panel has two clips one there and one there Just pop those out mine didn't actually even have them and then it has two horrible rotten screws which go in that hole and that hole this one came out all right the other one i had to use a stud extractor for there you go because that was truly and utterly rotten so i'm gonna have to change that i think that's an m6 so i might just replace that with a normal bolt through this washer Okay, next, what you need to do is you need to push this baby out and through this hole. I did that using a screwdriver through this gap. And then all of these tabs here need to be pushed out and then forwards, if that makes sense, all the way around. Yeah, so you've got one on both sides, same thing. And then you've got all those little tabs. So when you push that tab down, let me just demonstrate one of them to you. Down. Oh shit, I broke that. <laughs> and there we go, it's out. Right, I'm not sure if any of you guys have seen one of these grills before, but it had some LED lights built into it. I don't know if this was a recovery vehicle of some sort or whether they're just DRLs, but one's yellow and one's white. And they have got wiring on the back, but it's just never been wired up, I think. Or it was wired up and it's been decommissioned. But anyway, that's the grill out of the way. I only broke one tab, but as you can see, look, there's a little lip on the bottom of most of them. And that holds them in. Um, that one didn't have one, but every other one has got a lip. So that one, that one, that one, that one on the bottom, yeah? Probably the same thing on the top. And now I present to you the main issue, which is this. I think I'll unbolt the horn first and then unplug it and then decide what to do from there. I was tempted by all the Chinese horns on eBay, but I decided to go for some branded Fiam, if that's how you pronounce it, horns which are uh, made in Italy and used by most of the OEMs. I'm just going to figure out how all of this goes together and then I'll come back to you. All right, guys, with this kit, we've got two lovely sets of plugs. That goes onto there like that, clips on, clip. And then there's another one that loops to the next one. And then there's actually a, an OEM looking plug on that end. And there's also one on that end. That looks like a Bosch style one. And I don't know what that is, but trusty old Toyota only have one connection. And I think that's just a live that gets switched by the horn button. I presume it's getting its ground off there. So what I'm gonna do is wire that up in the same way and see if it works and if it does then I'll do my own wiring for it. I've been doing quite a bit of messing about and I've realized that these horns actually need a live and an earth. The live comes from the switch at the horn at the steering wheel and the earth on the stock one comes from the body but in this case what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to take an earth off the body and take it to one of these terminals in addition, what I've done is I've used one of the OEM looking looms and I found this little Nissan pluggy, which seems to fit the hole. I had to modify it a little bit, cut a few bits off it and it goes in nice. I think the, the live and the earth are the right way around as well. So what I'm going to do is run an earth from here straight to the body and then run a live from here to the existing switch. So I'll just probably put a spade on the end of that and plug this existing little clippy straight onto that and then and then for the air i will run a wire to one of these bolts and sandwich it in there with a nice connector but we'll see in terms of arrangement you can see that i've put that one in the original location uh, with the plug facing that way like it was before and then for this one here i used this 10 mil bolt here which the catch uses so i've just reused this bolt sandwiched the bracket in there and that's good to go i obviously left these 10 mils on the back loose 
until I knew which direction it would fit in and make sure it clears the grill as well so just a little bit of wiring to do now and then I'll give you a little sample of how it sounds as promised here's a little plug with the spade on the end for the OEM live plug to plug into and then a little ring connector probably put that on that 10 mil where the bracket is so let me do that now all right guys and just like that we are all wired up and ready for rock and roll i was recording earlier and i wasn't recording <laughs> if that makes sense so anyway this plug i don't know if i mentioned earlier is an old nissan plug and i had to modify it a little bit to fit in there but it fits in there nice it's watertight and it don't come out easy that's the main thing let's see if it works let's see yep that definitely works nice and loud <laughs> very good right grill back on now that just clips back in and then i've got to tackle those two horrible bolts with new ones and put it all back together all right guys and with that the horn is all done shall we have a listen from inside the car yeah that's bloody nice and loud now <laughs> so yeah that was a bit of a fiddle it wasn't a plug and play affair but end result was well worth it and i'm happy now that i can make people aware that i'm behind them or pulling out or whatever the situation may be driving around in london of course um so anyway hope you enjoyed that video hope you took something away from it if you did give it a thumbs up give it a like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one bye for now